Hey folks, Future AA here. I've been on a tear with simulation games again lately. In this video, I originally thought I was going to build a 100-year SimCity, but then I ultimately became upset and frustrated with the human nature and greed of the residents, causing a series of cascading economic downfalls in the town. So I decided to destroy everyone and everything. Everything in the stream is timestamped, but if you just want to skip to the disasters at the end, that's also cool, I guess. But it's mostly just me picking back up City's skylines, with which a reunion has been in order for quite some time. I hope you enjoy. Today we're playing the City Builder City's Skylines. Amazing, right? Uh, we're going to try to go for a hundred year challenge. It's been a minute since I last played this game, uh, but it's probably my favorite 3D City Builder. Uh, I've got most of the expansions on here, and I have... I'm really going to make a lot of mistakes, so don't, don't look for, like, pro-level gameplay. I've just been, uh, you know, uh, playing Wii most of the time. Wii Fit, you know, Wii Sports. You know, I've been distracted and I've lost touch with the uh, simulation games that really keep the uh, the brain going. So we're here on this square of land, uh, and we're just going to try to put something together. I gen I generally just want to test the game out again. Uh, it's been a, like I said, it's been a minute since I played. Um, <laughs> over a minute. Uh, but I guess we'll start time. We should probably keep time going. My god, look at how quickly the days pass by. We've already lost one day out of a hundred years, though. Uh, but I generally have no idea what I'm doing now. Let's keep it paused for a bit, because we gotta... We'll have the city in, like, rapid expansion, but we gotta work out our infrastructure first. Now, this early part always has bothered me, because this is a one-way road, and this is, you know, not a one-way road, so I think we need to get some sort of circulature going here, right? Uh, man, this is really fun. This is like math class. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm just going to do what I always do with my cities, which is a horrible idea, probably. And just do a giant main road. Let's just do a simple grid, because I think I'm going to... My head will probably explode if I try to do anything other than a grid to start. Or we could just make everything as inefficient as possible. No, we're going to actually try to make a decent city today, unfortunately. Um, hmm, water. Most of this game is just spent managing where the doo-doo goes, right? Water pumping station. Okay, so first we got to get out the doo-doo-less water. We'll need to buy the rest of the river so that we can dump the doo-doo uh, uh, downstream. But this looks like a pretty good upstream spot. At least as far upstream as can be. Um, there we are, there we are. Should have not frozen the time. Man, see, this is problematic though, because we have stagnant water and the doo-doo... God, this is, why is this always the first question of the game? You know, there is a slight current this away. <laughs> doo doo. <laughs> uh, doo doo. Okay, coal. Yeah, we'll go with coal because we need money. Unfortunately, we can't just put it at the very edge of the map, so I think we'll put it like here. Ah, oh, dang. It needs to be placed on the roadside. Well, I went down to the crossroads. Uh. There we are. I don't know why I'm quoting Robert Johnson of all now of all times. Um, okay, let's just have a line for our town. We're going to take this simplest... I know I'm not being very exciting here, but it's it's been a while. Like, if I, if I make mistakes, we might actually cause a financial crisis, and then everyone will be very upset, and I, I don't want to cause a financial... There's too many real-life financial crises going on right now for this to... I will put the people far away from their doo-doo, because, um, you know, they don't like to be near it. I'll put uh, more people, you know, actually, this is probably a horrible place to live, but too bad. We're just going to be demolishing many homes, making a lot of good mistakes. Uh, and we'll put it, here we go, commerce, commerce, and then let's put more bad stuff over here, because industry is bad. We'll put that over there. All right, let's... Get time going. Let's get time going. This town makes a lot of sense. All right. It sounds like I'm being interviewed. When I, why does it sound like I'm being interviewed? Okay, here come the people. Here come the people. This game always has given me a great sense of malaise. I always feel worse when I'm done playing the game than I did at the beginning. So I just want to kind of put that right out in the open at the beginning of this. So... I'll probably be nervous and upset for most of the rest of the same mucky official and uh, Steph amazing. Thank you very much for the 
for the subs? Uh, I was always... My God, this bird is... It looks like it's on some sort of conscience-altering substance when I do this. <laughs> Look at the eyes. Now, the bird really bothers me, but I decided I wanted to experience the adversity of the bird's, you know, constant gnawing, breathing over my shoulder from the beginning. Because I think that it forces me to confront a lot of the things that are wrong with me rather than just using a mod to get rid of the bird. Um, not where I want to place a... Oh, I can always just destroy everyone. <laughs> that would be fine. Oh, and now we have reached an impasse. You know, we've re certainly reached an impasse because the power isn't connected to this stuff. So we could either, you know, sell our soul to the devil by building power lines, which would be wasteful, don't you think? No, you have water and power, don't you? Why don't these people have water and power? I'm telling you, it's been a minute since I played this. Am I going to have to build some of these power lines? I don't have to upkeep this garbage. No. Come on, roaring economy. Roaring economy. Let's go. Build. Build, I say. You do have water. You do have water. Man, this music is really upsetting. Ah. Uh. No, next song. Okay, this is less upsetting. Enjoying that a little bit more. Hey, Caleb Kurt, thank you very much for the five gift subs. Much appreciated. And Heavy Sethaidra. And Mucky Official, thank you very much for the uh, the two gift subs as well as everybody else for the other subs. Hmm. Now we've taken care of the... Oh, I see what's the issue here, is that we have not connected the... There you go. Oh, wow, we could do this over the water. Oh, my God, I didn't even know that this was available. Doesn't that seem like a little bit problematic and dangerous to you that they should have this going? I'm guessing it's because we don't have development nearby there yet. So what we could do is to just chain it over until people develop houses because currently our town has no demand because there are no jobs. So let's go ahead and just do something regrettable. And yeah, unfortunately, despite the fact that the zones are connected because their houses haven't actually gone... You see, this is science happening here, people. A lot of science. All right, let's pass a little more time. Okay, now they have uh, health care. There we go. Some health care. You can see the health care coming in from on high. Let's see how, how demand rain. Now, this is the RCI meter, right? Is this... Motto, do something regrettable. Happy three months. Oh, what a good uh, way to get hurt. Hey, thank you very much for the three months. Drown in our sin. Drown in our sin. Bless you, drown in our sin. Thank you very much just for... Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Just for being yourself. Now, see, I really enjoy this element of City's Skylines. Frequently, the question comes up, which one I like better? Or to anyone, which one do you like better? City's, city's Skylines or SimCity? I enjoy the fact that the cars stay there and they have a story and a beginning and an end. Now, this could actually go awry on its journey to the coal power plant. Something could go awry here very easily and, you know, prevent this truck from getting there. But it seems that no one in this town owns a car yet. Uh, we could rename the districts, but I have, I have a life, so I won't do that. Industry or offices? Now, we have some industry. Okay, good. We have industry, dirty, bad, uh, dust, and pollutants. Inland water treatment. Inland water treatment can place uh, on the ground, resulting in ground pollution. Well, we didn't really... I mean, okay, only because the bird is requiring it. We could pollute on the ground where it's dirty over here in town. Let's do that. A little bit of dirty ground pollution. Because I'm just going to put all of the crap in this town over here. There we go. Man, this really gives me a sense of malaise. Should try out some of the other ones. Official Mars. Oh, we do have the Mars radio. Let's do that because we just did Surviving Mars. This is a little bit more soothing to my ears. Okay. 
I feel like we're all on another planet together now. This jazz is sublime. All right, let's begin. I'm giving it a chance, guys. I'm, you gotta give new things a chance some, some of the time, okay? You can play with your Wii in private, but some, at some point you gotta come out of your room. Your father and I have been very upset, okay? All right, we gotta make this accessible. Or as they say in my country, accessible. There we go. All right, let's begin. All right, we've allowed a lot of time to pass by. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna pull over this stream. I'm gonna stop the car until everyone stops fighting, okay? All right, but now that we've done that, we're gonna put that behind us and we're gonna get the show back on the road. So we've got the doo-doo coming out here. Look, we've got a good constant stream of, oh my God, I love how every single one of these things just produces a constant string of it in this game. Um, so where were we? So a hundred years, and we start at the actual in-game year and day. So we are, we're going to be going, hopefully, God willing, to April 29th. Uh, oh, thank you, Ass Bear. Much appreciated, my friend. We've got this nice jazz station going, and everything's all right. Everything's all right. Our city is just trash, but I mean, at the same time, like it should continue to come along. So we've got low density. Eventually, we'll be able to get a high density. Uh, we could dezone. What else do we have demand for? That we've got some indus industrial demand. So I think we should just. Oh, we've got a little Hamlet. Little Hamlet. Everybody like to you like you know like to play Hamlet. Great play about a guy who hates everything. Hamlet was not pleasant to be around. Hang on a second. Why aren't we getting that? Oh, there we go. Dezone and then. Oh, that is very intuitive and very nice. All right, so let's see, what have we got? G uh, garbage, oh, you love garbage. You love eating it and playing with it and, um, pri in private, in private, of course. Here we go, so let's put a road in. This is going to be the sad road to nowhere. This is the bad side of town where no one wants to live. Um, but no one does really have to live there. We're just going to destroy this man's livelihood. Uh, and let's see, so we've got four squares on a street, so we wanna, Allow business to thrive and continue over yonder. But if we do this, perhaps, are we able to get, like, a nice grid here? Because, uh, mm? Okay, I'm starting to see how this could work. Well, let's do this. I'm loving this station already, guys. Bossa Nova. Recycling, yes. But I feel as though the city's had enough time, though, to kind of develop, you know? And we've had only two months go by, so I do think that we need to speed up time, because I'm never going to get through 100 years if I don't speed up time to max, which gives me no guilt in that, so. Well, it's, uh... Well, if you think of anything, I would really appreciate it anyway. Uh, do I like your content? The Sims is great. Wouldn't mind you trying Terraria again. Ooh, Terraria. Uh, I do... F I feel like it would be really hard to... Why do they put an ad in the game? They put an ad in the game. I was thinking I was on YouTube and I had to skip the ad. You guys ever skip the ad? I enjoy skipping the ads. New viewer and kind of hard to me to catch the random trains. Uh, I don't really announce them. I just kind of do them at random these days. But I put most of the things up on the VOD channel. God, this might have been one of the actual people who works for Paradox who did this uh, thing. Jesus. Yeah, well, a lot of the ads in this are jokes, you know. Is there a way to turn them off, though? I don't actually like that. It's like there's something elegant about not having words. All right. Well, whatever, as long as it's very infrequent. I have to do ad blocker in the game with like a modded not real ad ad blocker. <laughs> Just like real ads, they aren't jokes. All right, well, I'm finally feeling less stress from those ads. Ah, thank God that was over. Let's continue with our city, shall we? After we got distracted by all of those mindless um, distractions. Um, healthcare, usually healthcare isn't really necessary because, you know, why have the people live longer and continue questioning everything around them when, you know, everything that we do is just a ruse against the public, we of the government. 
Um, noise pollution, and we aren't able to do some of this because we, uh, it seems, don't have the residential required for it. Uh, we also had the residential required for that. Well, let's go ahead and uh, arrange our city into hopefully livable sections. I think that people take their commuting a little bit less, like, um, seriously, I suppose, than they did in SimCity. What, what phrase am I looking for? You can, you can have people have something of a commute and they won't be extremely upset. Like in SimCity, sometimes, or some of the games, if they have to drive a block, it's like the end of the world. Let's go ahead and just keep the opposite side of our city the nice place, okay? So we're creating um, entrenched uh, class divisions. Not really intentionally, but it's happening, unfortunately, on the side, like, quietly in the background. Um, is this getting too real for you guys? Well, damn it. We gotta... We barely got out of the city limits. Well, we could... Uh, let's just work with what we got, you know, as my father said... Um, as he handed me my Nintendo Wii. There we are. No, unfortunately, my father get, never gave me a Wii. Um, but uh, here I am. Here I am still. You know, I made it by. I made it by either way. Let's just have a simple grid for now. We could go, like, cul-de-sacs, but I'm not really feeling French. So we'll just have this normal six-lane route. Wow, this would be really nice. We might want to... Take out some insurance, but let's just build wide and then eventually we'll bulldoze everyone's homes. We've got a good bank balance now. We're actually earning money instead of losing it. We will uh, we'll run over the pipe network over there so that these people can drink. They love to drink. They do nothing but drink. There we go. And we've got time sped up to, there we go, at the max because how the hell else are we going to get through 100 years? I, uh, I was thinking that too. Hey, thank you, Janana, forever. And as well as uh, Garrett and the, n the most nicest and uh, Mr. Nice Gamer. I thank you guys for the subs. We are a worthy village. Ooh, we could get our second loan and remain in student debt. There we are. <laughs> well, not really student debt, but just human debt. There we are. You guys have any human debt? Medical clinic, I don't think that we're rich enough to be healthy yet. Like, you ever run into this problem in real life? you just like, no, I just won't go. I, uh... <laughs> this is getting, again, this is getting very real. We got a roundabout. Obnoxiously in my town, there are, like, a lot of roundabouts. Oh, wow, look at this. Educate. Now, see, we're too poor to be smart, too. But look at how much money! We're making money again, everyone. We're making money. No health care. This is going to be like uh, North America. Hey, Sean Fallen Shogun's here. Good uh, content creator friend and just good guy Fallen Shogun. What's up, my guy? Everybody say hello to Fallen Shogun in chat. Can we do like SimCity versus? This seems like the play to do, right? Have you been into City Skylines? We've got a horrible L-shaped city, but it's a backwards L because... Well, we're losers, and we can't spell. If you put it this way, then it looks like a real L. Like, with a big, long bottom. Uh, here we go. What is this? Oh, there's, wait a second, this is the doo-doo symbol, right? Uh, what is, what is wrong here? And it, is this like they are dumb as a bunch of boxes? What is, what is this? It looks like... I want to say that this means... Ground is polluted and it's making citizens feel nauseous. Healthcare, okay, so now maybe we have... Okay, well, we're making 1,096, what is this, cents? City dollars? Is this some sort of new NFT city from crypto? Look at that, that's gotta be a, a, some kind of... You know what it is. All right, let's put the clinic over here. We'll put it near all the pollution because anyone who lives even remotely close to that... Actually, we'll put it in the center of town, I think. Six citizens, 32. Okay, man, they're feeling great again. Except it's mostly just the people nearby. Crap. We'll have to do one on each side of town. That wasn't remotely even close. Well, let's just see if it does some work, though. Who tweets this? My little... Pr this is like one of those horror... This is worse than one of those parents of a child actor. Trying to get Twitter attention by putting your child in a tree. 
We need a fire department to get the kids out of the trees. Why don't we just let the kids, you know, self-select out by getting into the trees? <laughs> is this getting... This is one of the realest streams. Yes, it is a little off-center as well. Set districts. Uh, districts? Don't really know what I'm doing with the district. Erase the district. No, I don't need districts at all. I don't think I want that. Uh, let's just see how sick they remain. There's crime over here, but we might not really need to do anything about this. I say that we just keep on raising money by bringing in more peasants, you know? So let's go ahead and keep giving in to these peasants' demands and making them more and more unhealthy by just putting, you know, horrible... There we go. Instant development. I really love the development in this game. Oh, yeah, I love it. All right, so we've got trash now. We have a landfill, though. We're supposed to be bringing everything over there. Open the budget panel. Man, this game is actually quite good. I feel bad that I don't... I'm honestly trying to relearn it. Not that hard, but... Man, there's burgling going on here as well. Either that or it's... Everybody's just wearing a balaclava. Um... Man, that actually seems like rather a lot of crime for such a small neighborhood. And we've also spread out our city horribly. I mean, you know, we were thinking of the long term, so I'm not, I, I stand justified in that, but I need to think far ahead. Guys, I'm a deep thinker. Let's just destroy this one good-looking house for that. Good, okay, so everyone take off your balaclavas. Good. The police will bring a stop to your ways of bad. Look, there come the cops right now. Do the cops actually go make a trip to the house? Hang on a second. I want to follow around this cop car. People are being immoral over here. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, we need to get more citizens so that we have more taxpayers. So let's continue trying to, uh, you know, as we always do, ruin everyone's lives by putting more people in a smaller space of land. They're all pushing one another aside, trying to make themselves happy in the words of, uh, roughly in the words of one of my favorite thinkers, Terrence McKenna. Hey, GGMR554, thank you very much for those five gift subs. Oh, thank you. You guys ever watch Terrence McKenna? He's got a lot of crazy studies out of his mind in a lot of his things. I really enjoy listening to him, but uh, yeah, he's, he's out of his mind. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. He was a, he's such an interesting uh, lecturer. Interesting lecturer. Mm, kind of like one of those Timothy Leary types, you know? Big in the 60s. Big in the 60s. All right. Well, that aside, that aside. Let's, let's go on. Now, I'll continue to make a civilization that makes everyone unhappy. This, is, this is, would be a great feat for 100 years. If we manage to get it happening, I mean, it's been only like... Oh, wait a second. You know, I've been reading the day and the date wrong. I've been reading in my uh, misleading American way, 10, 12, 22. I keep thinking that's October. No, we're already in December. We've made it so far, folks. I'm finding myself scrolling a lot. I just got a new mouse. actually really enjoying it. I had a horrible mouse before. It's a new one. Nice. Okay, tiny town. <laughs> tiny town. Uh, hey, GGMR, thank you very much for coming out. And thank you for your uh, extreme kindness. Thank you. You don't have to do anything for me, but thank you. Mm, park path. We got a zoo path. Now, this kind of brought me back to City Skylines. The fact that, um, you know, I saw a lot of uh, good other folks doing stuff like this. Like uh, Real Civil Engineer and, um, and my friend uh, Cody I'm Kibitz. Uh, who's uh, who was doing a, like an amusement park kind of thing, and I, I didn't even know that you could do that in this game until I looked back at all the DLC packs, and I realized, oh yeah, that's in it. Uh, look at the newly unlocked service. Now, do we get gifts like we do in... I mean, I'm not going to lie, I've been playing a lot of SimCity lately, so coming over to this is kind of like... kind of like driving a modern car, I don't know, after you've been driving nothing but horse and buggies for a while. Not that I don't like it. I, I like them both for different reasons. All right. You're lying about your water amounts. 
Nope, no more water for you. We won't be pumping it into your house. That's how we're going to continue to subtly control your life. There we go. Good. Now there's water. Don't complain that there isn't, because there is, and I did it myself. We probably do actually need a fire department, because in many of these games you never need a fire department. And anyone who would lead you to think otherwise is misleading in a playing shell games with you. You know, give the nude zooist, zooist tycoon. Let's finish watching the Sims. Hey, Gooseborn. Hey, thank you for watching. You know, I actually have been collecting old discs of games, like stuff that was popular when I was a when I was a kid, and I had nothing but my Wii. You know, um, is I gonna say? So I got Zoo Tycoon, like the original Zoo Tycoon. I got that running on my computer. Um, I finally got Sims 2 running on Windows 10. That was so much headbanging for weeks. Uh, what else? Sims 2, Zoo Tycoon. I love how there's no consequences for just destroying someone's land in this game. So I feel like I could get these grids more right on target, you know? But I am a slob and an ignoramus, so I think we'll just allow it to continue in its, uh, bad way. There's doo-doo in the water. Oh, is there doo-doo flowing back downstream? No, the doo-doo isn't flowing to our main source of water. The doo-doo is flowing down to, um, uh, doo-doo beach. Canals? We could build canals? What the hell? That's awesome. Should... No, I think Charborg did that, and he was streaming, uh, what was it? This game. What game are we playing? S uh, City... Skyscrapers. There we go. Cities skyscrapers. This. <laughs> Cities. Uh, I'll be here all week. I'll be here all week. Oh, gods! That's on fire! Did I just say gods? How do you put that out? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I see what's going on, is that, you know, we didn't do any of the by roads or anything like that. This is probably going to be one of the worst cities just ever, man. Just ever. So let's go destroy people's livelihoods. Sorry, we're going to destroy your motel. Um, here we go. This is an awful city. Oh, Jesus. See, like, I'm kind of bumbling through in my own personal naive way here, though. Are they putting... How do we- we even have those ambulances? Oh, look, the fire is out. You guys were making a big fuss over nothing. See, the fire's good. Why don't we have power over here? Not enough electricity, occasional power shortages. All right, well, we gotta... People, we gotta get on... Make people into Soylent Green or something like that. Hmm. No, Charborg? Oh, Charborg's a very nice guy. I haven't actually done anything with him. It would be cool, though, if we, uh, uh, if we, uh, maybe got to play some Wii together someday or something like that. I would love to play Wii with Charborg. That would be a lot of fun. Hmm. Fishing industry. Man, there's so much in this game now that I... I even feel like since the last time I checked this game out, more has definitely been added. Definitely more. Let's continue putting all the bad stuff on this side of town. No one likes this. Well, live with it. Um, we'll put another road here, destroying a man's... We really should have figured out the, like, grid to... Nah, nah, we shouldn't. I'm doing everything right, I'm sure. Is this, like, the optimal amount away to be from? Okay, I see. So they've actually marked out on the grid where is, like, the optimal amount of road to not road to have. Okay, this is actually quite helpful because I am, uh, very... I have a lot of issues, like, you know, just planning issues. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. Here we are. When I'm listening to the radio, time seems to fly. You can go to hell. Alright, um... Yeah, Soylent Green. Gonna... Oh, we've got one of those fake ads again. I hate the fake ads. No, I don't want to smell a mountain. 
There will be none of that. Another ad. Oh, wait, this is actually quite a funny one. Oh, this town is on fire. Is this guy even advertising a law firm? Let's just pave an entire road there in the amount of time that it takes us to get the... Thank God. I actually, I'm not a big fan of the in-game ads. I, wait, is this meteors? Uh, that really looked like a meteor. We don't have the people to get another fire department. Okay, so we just gotta... W what did that thing just do? This fire truck has hydraulics, man. Oh, God, look, there's actually a fireman. So this house is, it's just fine, the Kent residence? No, you didn't even put out the fire over there. Go back. <laughs> Can you fire a fireman? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I'm losing it. Thank you. Everyone keep an eye out. Uh, people haven't seen my son. Have you? <laughs> His name is Nemo. Little orange fella, little orange fella. If you happen to uh, see him, I, I just got him a Nintendo Wii. Yeah. Oh, we need more commerce. Mm. Hey, Ella's one. Hey, thank you for the nine months, Ella's one. Now, I'm trying to just avoid this hill as we construct the city. Is this even an efficient way to, there is no water. Oh, uh, we just ran out of water like yesterday. Quit being a baby. There'll be more water if you stop complaining. There we go. AA for president. Every day is a water day. Free water for everyone. I think we could do that, like, if we didn't... If we just got rid of, like, one major, you know... Like, if we got rid of education or something like this, you know? Then we'd get free water for everyone. It would... Think of the trade-offs, people. It, maybe it would be worth it. Stay home and drink the water. Hydrate. Hi hydrate. <laughs> this fishing industry is... Oh my god, actual fish. Fishing harbor? What the hell? Fishing roots? Fishing harbor sends out low-capacity fishing... <laughs> low-capacity. <laughs> what a joke. Why is this water red? Is it red with the blood of our enemies? Man, there is just, I, like, I really gotta say, City Skylines does a really good job. This game seems accessible, and I know that there's a lot of hardcore folks out there who are probably screaming at their computer screens. So I do apologize for that, uh, in advance, you know, in advance. Oh, why fire department there? Fire department this, fire department that. When have they ever put out any fires? Let's keep going grid, grids. Live life in a boring square because this city is full of squares. Eventually we'll put them together so that you could maybe get to your friend's house across the street without having to drive a mile around all of the inconveniently placed infrastructure that is around the city that is senseless. Maybe. Maybe. Boom town. Oh, wow. Boom is a very powerful word full of onomatopoeia. Full of onomatopoeia. Man, I'm really lacking in my verbiage today. I'm sorry. You come here for the words and I supply just dingus. Hey, space, space aids. Hey, thank you very much for the prime. Yeah, if you stop crying, then you, you won't have to drink as much water. Keep your tears. New building. Remember to have a look at the newly unlocked building, high school. Let's just build a high school to flex on these people. I mean, in my opinion, in my opinion, no elementary school. Like, they just skip right. You just, it's more competitive in the high school environment, you know? A lot of people won't do anything with that uh, high school. Or either that or we just, uh, let's see. Institute of Creative Arts. Let's just have creative people in our city. We make paintings. It's actually, you know, we are dumb as a box of rocks, as uh, as they say. 
Let's have a school. Why are you... Well, I guess, yeah. They like that. Man, this is a nice high school. I, uh, this is a high school. I meant to do an elementary school. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Um, all right. My dear Watson. Why are the elementary schools in these games always lower? And they look worse than the high school. Is it because the children are short? There are adults working in these buildings. They probably... This isn't like Willy Wonka or something. These aren't Oompa Loompas. No, no. All right, well, whatever. I'll allow it, I suppose. Continue, continue. Well, we've made it uh, slightly over a year, and honestly, this city is looking pretty good to me for one year if we're going to be trying to make it a hundred years. I somehow doubt we'll get there because... Well, is there like a hyperspeed plug-in or something like that? Well, maybe we could make it a ten-year challenge. It has a one and it's missing a zero. Oh, yeah, well, there's no issues with these roads. Well, we'll we're going to create a city in the most naive way possible, and then we'll probably scale up from there and change our minds on everything. Let's Okay, now I'm starting to see. So you kind of want to do things at these, like, uh, at these nodes. So what you do is you make out a long road, a long boy road, and then you go to a node, and then you plan out the infrastructure. Okay, now I'm beginning to understand how the game works. At least, like, at my five-year-old level, because I gotta say, I didn't understand that at first. And See, like, this is perfect because it maximizes the use of the space. Of course, there's still probably a lot of stuff wrong with it, but, you know, we've kept, like, the doo-doo away from everyone. Um, look, this part looks like a magnet, even though that it's wrong. Though, I gotta say, like, we probably aren't doing us ourselves many favors with the traffic situation on this road, because I'm beginning to see, like, some dingus traffic around here. So, let's go ahead and prevent this uh, major fallout before it occurs. Two-lane road with tram tracks. Nah, there won't be any trams. Um, let's see if we can find, like, a major junction. Yeah, look, guys, we just made a junction. Ah, love that. Man, this game is very, like, clicky and nice to play, though. I forgot about this. It has. It's been a minute since I touched this, uh, this one. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, God. Look, and we just created a whole new area where we can put commerce. Because commerce doesn't mind a little bit of pollution, maybe, I hope. Well, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, if you don't have a car, this is how we make all the money for the country. You know, we have to just sell everyone a car. Sell everyone a car. Where is the oil in town? We're trying to get to the oil. That's the goal of every town. Discovered it in my backyard. Okay, so here we go. So we can just uh, paint and create an industry area by painting over these highly specialized industrial... All right, let's try it out. See if... Uh... Oh my god, this is like art class. But for adults who uh, never got to express themselves as children. Here we go. Uh, there it is. Industry area. Yeah, good. All right, what is this? Erase industry area. So we do it only with industries? Okay, park area. And then we could create another district. Well, let's make a district. This. Vaguely defined area. I imagine there's a better way to do this. This feels very kind of like MS Paint to me, you know? Damn it. Beachwood district. Okay, that's a nice name for it. Uh, okay, we don't always have to look at it, because it is kind of an eyesore. But look, now we've got that pleasantly, uh... Man, I'm gonna have to think of a good name for this. How about, like, um... They will seize the means of production. Nah, you don't have enough characters. Proletariat. I suppose we'll just have to go with short and sweet. That's where the pro <laughs> proletariat. 
Um, I guess we could do it like, you know, one by one, like a Mad Lib, neighborhood by neighborhood. And it does seem like we're running out of water. How much are we pumping every week? Oh my god, that's not enough. Is there anywhere we can see, like, water flow statistics? This seems like it would be useful and I don't actually have a, a location for it. Freaky T and Soccer MVP. Thank you very much for the subs, my friends. Hmm. Mm hmm. Roundabouts. There will be no roundabouts. We have squares in this city. We have squares. Yeah, I don't know. I, I always, I feel like the, in my naivete, I start like that though. Okay, people are dying now because the city is so ugly that everyone, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. Well, let's just start pumping out more water and see that what that does to the system. I mean, we have like, we have a good wide berth from, man, it's really begun flowing. Though it seems as though, like, once it gets to a certain point in the river, you know, uh, it breaks up, and, mm? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we just want to connect that to the main group. Why isn't there water? Of course there's water. Why, why don't you have water? Not enough water. We have two water pumping. Oh, because there's actually no water here because it's not flowing. What have we done? Look, there's not even water getting into it. Are we going to have to delete this and switch out another one? Look, there it goes. It's sucking in the water. Okay, now, now I need help. I need help. Help. Wait, okay, the tide is coming up. The tide is coming up. Yeah, there's water. Should be water. Oh, it's because this pipe isn't connected to the network. So I did have plenty of water. Never mind, I stand corrected. I just didn't have that connected. All right, much better. Let's see what other kinds of things they're upset about now. Oh, you can move it? You can move it? Relocate building? Oh my god, that's amazing. My life is finally complete. Let's relocate it over there so that we can take the water from the other one. Well, we'll probably use it anyway somehow. Man, I feel like a dingus. I am a dingus. I am. Who am I kidding? Yeah, well, maybe we'll use that for something else later on. We'll keep paying for it with our hard-earned money from... Uh... What are you doing, you people? Ah, uh, they just aren't in the water. Well, we didn't choose to give them water. There we go. Nice water. All right, let's just make sure nobody has any complaints. Nobody has any complaints. Didn't we just build you a second power plant? I feel as though this is this is getting a bit excessive. This is getting a bit, a bit excessive. All right, uh, yeah, where do we see the statistics? So our city is trash. Uh, there is literally trash everywhere. But, I mean, on the bright side, it's making money. In every single city building game I've gone through, it's kind of taught me about life. Just the fact that, like, you know, your life will be tragic and bad for a while until you, you know, earn uh, enough money and then eventually uh, you'll be able to buy something like a bouncy house and then that will give you a temporary sense of uh, elation and then you realize it's all quietly uh, for nothing. But, <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Uh, we have enough money for a medical clinic so we can't actually take care of our population now. Might be good because there are people just dying everywhere. Um, how is the health of our humans? Well, since we are getting large residences over here and it doesn't actually make a difference for our other zones, we'll put this... I'm pretty sure most of the effectiveness of stuff in this game is judged by proximity. So let's just destroy these two innocent people's houses. Just two people, you know, that's it. We'll get over it. On the side of the road, living in a paper bag. Hang on a second, why do we have uh, no power again? We're getting frequent brownouts now. Let's see our power grid. Oh, these people are being left out in the dark, out in the... Out in the dumps. Down in the dumps. Well, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Third power... I don't feel as though we should need three power plants for this, though. Are we doing something wrong? 
Do we need to like connect this? Well, it does say that they're connected, so maybe we just need a... Th yeah, maybe we just need the third one. There were dead people in the road. I didn't even see those dead people. Or maybe we should try some new type of power, you know? Like one of these uh, pinwheels. Okay, give them more budget. That's fair. Oh, that's kind of funny that they don't get budget from that. Yeah, let's go see money. Here we go, money. Um, electricity or... We've got two sliders here. What are these two for? Electricity. Budget loans. Let's just put more money into it. Throw money at the problem until it goes away. So we'll do that. What is? I guess this is like day versus night, the amount of electricity. Yeah, we got the sun and the moon there. What is it? Uh, brother sun and sister moon, as as St. Francis would have said. Mm. Still, everybody's being left out in the dark. Mm. I don't want to leave the I mean I don't I want the proletariat to eventually seize the means of production but I don't want them to like you know experience quite this much adversity we need to give them let's just max it out see if that works all right wait like a month and see if good there go the lights back on proletariat not so bad anymore right Good, they're just eva all your troubles are evaporating. Good, distract them with their electronic contraptions so that they don't question the government and the lopsided social policies that govern their everyday lives. All right, good place we've got now. All right, we have death. A dead person is waiting for you. Now, we could pick them up with like the mailman, right? You ever had somebody die and the mailman comes by like, Ah, uh, <laughs> stands in front of the house. Well, when are you going to give me your dead grandma? You know, everyone's glad about that. The mailman's going to come up and uh, pick up grandma. No, but we do actually, this is uh, disturbing. How do we get rid of these dead people? Oh, dead X. Dead X. <laughs> Large buildings. Maybe we could get like a good old fashioned, there we go, a cemetery. Or really what would be more... Elder care. Mm, what do they play? Like Elder Scrolls in there or something? Let's put the uh, cemetery... We could put it near the dump. Just to kind of, you know... Give a hint. But I think we'll put it in the middle of the town. Kind of like in... Uh... Actually, a lot of major cities have just like a random graveyard in the middle. Like on Wall Street in New York. There's just a graveyard in the middle of it. <laughs> this is also in, true in Boston. Oh, God, I was just talking about some cities. I don't want to hear these advertisements. It's ironic, you know, I'm, I'm finding myself experiencing real life adversity here with this uh, advertising. Oh yeah, tell me about the Brontosaurus. Yes, I agree. Of the many brontosauruses I've seen. Alright, I don't know why. This woman's voice is soothing, but she should do, like, soap commercials or something like that. Cover your body in wet, duh, uh, uh, doo-doo. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not soap. That's, um... Well, there are those weird soap ads you see on YouTube, you know, where the guy's like, you make doo-doo, <laughs> like, you need to wash it off, you know? You ever see these ads? There is that ad. Or these other people who are like, you should eat dirt, it's healthier than everything else that they're spooning into you, you know? <laughs> I love those ads, when you question everything. Now, the proletariat are beginning to unfortunately question everything, so we're going to go ahead and have to uh, power them with some... Here we go, we'll just continue massively polluting on this side of town. To this pleasant bossa nova music. You'd destroy another industry, innocent and standing there in our way. All right, proletariat, are you quit? No, good, they still aren't questioning anything. I gotta make sure that there's no bubbles over the houses. Now we have got this good, people are glad that abandoned things are going away. 
Good, eventually other there will be demand and other families will move in. The foreclosures have begun. Now, I can actually physically see the ash and soot and the bad that these places are producing. This place just stores containers. We From where? Yeah, you know, it's very dirty to... If you play uh, Wii for too long, you might get dirty, you know, because you start sweating and... Um, well, it just becomes... It just becomes a real hassle if you play that much of it. Um, so that's why, you know, you gotta rinse off and wash your, uh... Wash off your, um, flesh with <laughs> soap. Because we're all very dirty. Oh no, I didn't mean to do this. Here we are. I don't think I've ever called my body flesh in any, like, normal context. No one really uses the word flesh just in conversation. There are some words that are just unfortunately excluded from the English language. Like they're sitting at their own table, you know? Okay, at least these ones were not awry and problematic. Here we go. Oh, yes, busy town. Isn't this actually a, a name of a, like a TV show for kids? I mean, adults, a very serious adult TV is what I watch. The news and, uh, um, uh, I don't know, like, um, the other news channel. Hmm. Does anyone even watch TV anymore? Hey, Mr. Midas, hey, thank you very much for your kind words. All right, my little princess was trapped. See, we get some of the same tweets. These people are lazy. They need to think of new tweets. Let's have a splore around town now. Oh, whoops, that wasn't the splore I was searching for. Here was the splore. Oh, see, now, I don't play SimCity to play... Oh, sorry, City Skylines. I can't help it. I was raised in the SimCity generation. I don't play this game to play it well. I play it to enjoy the scenery and relax. Which I think is, you know... Uh, foreshadowing for the meteor I'm going to launch at our city at the very end of the stream. Um... That's what it's all for. As a kid, I would just build these things, and then eventually I would get rid of them. But I, I don't know. This was just one of the nicest features of this game, this cinematic camera. And it actually does look very good, like, for something that is programmed into a game. As someone who makes videos, I spend a lot of my time getting footage like this. So, I mean, honestly, it makes me kind of want to do some city skylines. You can nuke yourself in the game? Oh god, that house is on fire! <laughs> Do you see that in the lower l Oh, Jesus. Uh, isn't that the car from The Simpsons? Isn't there a car in The Simpsons hit and run that looks exactly like this? It reminds me of it so much. It makes me very happy. I really need to get a copy of that game. Unfortunately, it is very expensive. And this fire is massive. We don't want to lose the whole city, so... Let's get an actual fire station. Ooh, fire helicopter. This looks large and unnecessary, but more interesting. Like a um, small town with a helicopter fireman. Wow. Oh, I like that. Yes. I'll have one of those. I'll say this. Like, you know, one thing that I, I really wish... City's... Look at this. It's like a giant mosquito. Except in second, instead of sucking out the, uh... Wh why are you going? That's not the fire! Oh, is it going to the river to pick up water? Oh my god, it's picking up the doo-doo! Look, they're picking up the doo-doo water! <laughs> That's what I call recycling! <laughs> there they go! Right by the waste plant! Uh, wait a second, are they getting... No, they're barely avoiding it. It's, it's gotta be, some of it has gotta be in there, though. Can you imagine that? You just set a fire in your house and then they jump, they jump. Don't remember, everyone, they're not helicopters, they're hootspacopters. Look, there it goes. Oh, Jesus. No, you forgot to dump the... Man, the, the great pun in the word I just said right now is... That was our high school. They were on fire with, uh, thirst for knowledge. This is the worst house. This is the worst house. Actually, this looks like a great house. I would like that. I would like to live in that house. 
I'll buy it as like one of those, you know, those virtual land NFT things that people have started buying. How do you, how are you going to live in a virtual house? Or there'll be some people who are just like sitting on the corner with a VR helmet on like, I don't need a, one of those. I got my VR helmet. I'm playing. Well, it's okay. Eventually I'll just be sitting in a paper bag on the side of the road playing with my Wii. You know, my Nintendo Wii. Yeah. It's a good time. It's a good time. Mr. Midas, thank you very much for the prime. Yeah, I don't know. You, uh, that's my thing is I really didn't think about the traffic at all. Traffic, it's actually not that awful. I mean, the truth is that if you just make your city into a giant grid, you're going to be paying more for it. But traffic should, in theory, be decent. I think we've got some subways or something like that. We're already in the year 2024. We've made it almost two years. Two years. Uh, hmm. I'm liking the station, though. It's kind of picking up. All right, so let's just keep on focusing on massively expanding our city now. I think we've gotten to the point where we've got all the major stuff laid down. We have a good, you know, I would call it like a nest egg of capital. And we can kind of go out and continue to build our city's roads establish the rest of the industrial section and uh what the hell is this what the hell is this now let's continue over yonder man this is like some funk hmm. yeah we might be able to do that we might be able to do that i think that there's enough power connection now good yellow 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 there we are Yes. Yes. Noise. Noise. Okay, there's um Basura on this side of town. We gotta get rid of this. I just don't think that the English word garbage does it, so I'm gonna say Basura. But I'm not gonna roll the R because uh I'm bad at it. <laughs> um mm, Proletariat. Well, you know, they should have some extra garbage. You know, let's leave a good bit of that in there just to kind of remind them of their present state in life. Farm main building. I like this new farm idea. This is nice. Landfill. Can we actually get rid of some of it, though? Forestry. Well, it's an unassigned... Uh, is, uh, this isn't going to get rid of the garbage, though. This isn't going to get rid of the garbage at all. Making less garbage. Well, you know, as they say, teach a man to fish. Here we go. And you make a wish if he's on the fish. That's the that's the saying. That's how it goes. Right, let's see if some of that starts to disappear. And if not, we might just need to get rid of it and move it closer. Why isn't it going away? This is the same amount of garbage. In fact, there's even more garbage even when I put in this recycling center. There's yet even more garbage still close to the area. Hang on a second. Do we need to raise the budget? Oh, no. We, we're finally just making money. Okay, let's raise the budget, too. We'll pay all these uh, city dollars or whatever it is. City dollars? Yes. Mm. Okay, I think we should have these shoot off this away. There we go. Really have no overlap there. Not enough educated workers. I haven't really confronted that problem yet because our city is just kind of dealing with gar literally garbage piling up on the ground. I'm lu you're lucky to have uneducated workers. Storage spaces. Call 911 with... Ah, uh, that's funny. Mm, firehouse. Firehouse. What is this? This is like a bunker? This is literally a bunker. Can we just get nuked in this game? Like, whoops. Tsunami warning buoy. There's gonna be a tsunami? No, there's no tsunami. We just produce too much weather radar. Oh, this is kind of nice. I like to get some real catastrophic weather in here soon. 
Man, don't you find this relaxing, guys? I find this almost as relaxing as uh, the Nintendo Wii. Mm. There we go. Yes, you're unhappy that I've destroyed your home. You should be. Man, unfortunately, these aren't perfectly lined up. Low happiness, parks providing them with better. True, there is literally no park here. I wouldn't like that if I had to live near that crap. Uh, my God. Well, let's just give everyone has a public bouncy house. Botanical garden, that's actually kind of nice. Let's put a bouncy house just in the middle of their neighborhood. No parks, nothing like that. Just a bounce house. Here we go. Yes, you love it so much. You would love bouncing around and... Um, uh, you, you, um, I don't, I don't know. My citizens are happy. Ignore what they say to you. They're just, they're just being shy. Hmm. Let's destroy some of their houses to get rid of some of the unhappy people. There we go. Yeah. You love it when I bulldoze over your house and put another, what appears to be another bounce house over there. No, that's not a bouse house. A bouse house. Hmm. All right, we seem to have incurred some traffic buildup, but we have lots of moolah. Lots of moolah. People are happier in the city. Let's just try to address problems now because we have a lot of money. Why isn't the government doing anything to stop the fires? We literally are pouring... <sighs> People only complain. You know, I'll get back at them with the meteor I'm going to put upon them at the end of the stream. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Let's do something for the people once. Let's have this, uh, this thing, whatever it is. Pray for the mayor, green energy. Yes, everyone loves green energy. Really, it would be better if we could switch over to nuclear power, probably, but... We just put it away from everyone, you know? Like on the moon or something like that. And then we just connect a very long power line from the earth to the moon. It's a problem solved, see? You know? No one's worried about the uh, the nuclear power uh, exploding. And uh, the moon is finally useful for once instead of being lazy. Let's get a, f a normal... Unfortunately, we... Oh, man, I want a fire station, but I guess we'll just... Now this seemed a bit extreme and excessive to have this. Fortunately, it's getting rid of one fire, but does it get rid of it in time for the next one? No, no, yes, the other fireman does get there. All right, fire's taken care of. Fire's taken care of. Hmm. You know, reflecting on the way that SimCity 4 is different from this, because that was the most recent other city builder I played, it's kind of nice to not have your advisors telling you everything that's wrong, because let's face it, like, we're all idiots and we don't understand how city games work. There's a new piece of land available for purchase. Well, let's begin our capitalist journey. Um, hmm. There is a mod that allows you to buy all of these, right? Well, we don't actually have enough for our current land, so let's just save it for a bit. Garbage. Okay, I hate. I hate. Uh, I am odious of these people. I don't even know how to say it. Operating normally. Are we go fifty three percent full? What happens when we run out of space for the garbage, though? What happens? Uh, that's what I want to know. We have an incineration plant, but we need more people. So let's just, just cram more people into our city until we can start burning the garbage, and then everyone will be happier with that. We'll have green energy so that we could use that as an excuse to pollute horribly. Um. Isn't that how it more or less works in real life? We just burned all of the garbage right next to the uh, napkins that are recycled. There we go. Don't ask so many questions, please. Mm, don't be so problematic. Don't be such a party pooper. Use your napkin while we burn the garbage. There we go. Uh, I'm just being very cynical right now. You understand. All right, we got to get rid of this. So let's just destroy some of these commercial enterprises and replace them with better roads, I think. Let's put something horrible in, like, a six-lane highway. Uh, we got to get... Um, damn it, we got one-way streets. Well, let's just do this. Okay, now I feel civic... Civic duty. Oh my god, that's awful and large. 
Well, we're probably going to have to destroy many homes. Space already occupied. We're going to need to pay a lot of money to destroy all of these homes, so let's just wait on that a bit until we have the garbage thing under control. Then we'll address traffic. Besides, I like to see the traffic. You know, it means that the town is busy and um, maybe people will leave. Bring the whole family at the old grain mill. Old I like this ad. You gotta, you gotta give it up to uh, to the devs though on this, because honestly, like making a whole set of fake ads is kind of a feat. Okay, this looks awful though. Hmm. Well, we're going to have a lot of that. Hmm. Da no roundabouts. No, this isn't some like you know. Uh, this isn't a she she neighborhood. This is a bad place. We want it to be right out in the open. We want people to. Be aware of the fact that we're ruining their lives right out in the open. You know, we we keep no secrets here, and our town doesn't even have a name. We call it like Dangerville or something like that. My princess was hashtag trapped in a hashtag tree. Damn it. Uh, back to this good old jazz, good old jazz. That should be enough demand now to supply me with the rest of the population required in order to burn garbage. All we need is a little bit more commerce here, I think. Let's just kind of build a few more lanes in here. I guess we'll have them line up better with this. I think I've learned a few more of the principles of city building, but this run is kind of for making mistakes, not really for playing well. So, keeping that out in the open here. Mm, city needs more power. Okay, okay, fine keep moving in at least they keep moving in though that's good oh good we finally get the oil power plant uh let's put that in because it's far more efficient and like i said we were after oil as we as uh you know americans searching for that oil now we finally have our chance finally our chance this building's burning well let's just demolish it and replace it with an oil power plant fifty thousand dollars jesus christ Oh my god, not right across from the burning buildings. That was probably not a great idea. How is it burning down in the middle of a rainstorm? Look at these things. Nope, we're ignoring traffic until we have a lot of people and we're burning the garbage. Then we'll take care of the rest of the, uh, of the city. Of course there's still strong, healthy demand despite the fact that the, why is the population dropping so uh, drastically? Oh, see, it's going back up. Of course it is. No, it's not. Uh, what is happening? What is happening? Oh, they're not happy about the garbage and the crime and the lack of police. Hmm. Let's give them another landfill just to kind of tide them over. Stop complaining. We're still making your money. I hope a tornado hits because that would be funny. Here we go, another landfill, another landfill. That should dispatch more garbage trucks. Mm, good. Now what are you talking about? Very efficient city, very efficient city. How do we, uh, oh, here we go, bulldoze. Let's get rid of these things because we don't want to pay for things that aren't making us any money again. Mm, good, we aren't really doing much with that either. I believe that this thing is more or less connected now, so we can stop maintaining all these power lines. Why pay for it if it's not helping me, you know? Here we go. That's good. That's great. Perfect, in fact. Uh, get rid of that. Good. All right, still making money here. The population seems to have reached a, a stabilizing point. That We do have a lot of more... Uh, people in Balaclava is moving in, so we're going to have to go get another police station here. Let's see. Come on, someone should be in charge. Unfortunately, we can't get this police headquarters, but where is the other police station? Where did we even put that thing? Where is the crime? Where are the Balaclavas coming out? There's a lot of crime in this neighborhood. My god, we gave you a bounce house to, uh, take your mind off of your unfortunate life situation. Let's just police them to death. We go hard on crime. We go hard on crime. There we are. Good. 
disconnect these slightly more because I think that there's too much disconnect here. There we go. Nice, normal, normal grid. Still got that trash pile up, but we have stopped the crime. We have stopped the crime. There's something urgent happening there, but it looks like a police officer is headed for the situation right now to cuff him, to cuff him for the night, and then they'll be back out on the streets. Hmm. And the trash is going away. Okay, good. The, all these hooded uh, men. Nope, uh, just... Man, you look like such a jolly criminal. There we are. See, problem solved, problem solved. No more problems in the city. And we are starting to get this water type of demand thing going. Let's go see how our water budget is. I, I do believe that we might need to budget more for water. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just raise out that full water budgeting, taxes and loans. We'll leave the taxes where they're at. Unless if we feel like we can manage more. But I generally speaking like to keep it at that level. Hmm. You know, actually, uh, Polygon did a video on this recently of, like, some of the hidden politics in, uh... In, or was it them? Who was it that did a thing? It's a really interesting Polygon video on the, uh... On the SimCity kind of like, uh... On, like, the formula black box underneath the whole game. And we gotta, we gotta put in a bigger avenue here. So once we have some money again, we'll, uh, make this a big... A big lane road, as I believe they're technically call, called... Garbage is piling up again. Um, man, if only we could get to that 7,500 population. I'm surprised, though, that this city has less than 7,500. One would think it had more, judging by its looks. No? Though at the same time, can anyone really get to work anymore? No one really seems to have a problem with all of this. Oh, it could be because of the gar the tr Ah, you know, that's actually super interesting. In that it seems as though the garbage is piling up because the they can't drive. They can't drive because we didn't plan the roads. Okay, so well, then let's do this. So what do we have here? We have three lanes, so let's just keep it at three lanes. Can we do three lane again? It's like an avenue. Okay. Mm, me thinks four lanes, four lanes. Can we do three lanes, three lanes, anyone? No, there will be none of this. Highway. Two-lane highway. Highway with sound barrier. We probably don't need any of that. Hmm. What about this? Like a one-way, six-lane, one-way road with decorative grass. Well, we certainly don't need that much. Six-lane road with decorative grass. This is going both ways. Hmm. Six-lane road with decorative grass. Six lane road with bus lanes. Six lane road, one way road. What is this one? Let's just try this. Can we give them six lanes so that when they come into town they have even more lanes? Let's destroy everyone's home. Distance too short. Damn these people. Oh, well then I have another idea. Let's just make life slightly more convenient. What an easy solution. I didn't even see this. What if we just do that? Suddenly, life isn't hell anymore. Just to get into our goddamn town. Look at how much just opened up, sort of. No, unfortunately, they do still have to go that whole way if they want to get in and out. But look at how much uh, worse we made it. Let's go buy that other bit of land if we can't do anything else. How much? Only $3,700. Fantastic, yeah. Okay, let's go fix up this road situation. We'll just give them another exit. Yeah, we could do a toll booth. That would be... Probably make traffic even worse and more expensive. You know, keep these peep out of towners out. They're, look, what are they bringing in? Hot dogs, tractors, donuts. They're just shoveling crap down our throats. Get rid of them. Yeah, I agree. Let's get rid of this. Can we afford the toll lo uh, lane road... Road tolls... More... One-way toll booth. Too bad. Too bad. You pay. You'll pay to come into our city. Alright, um... Hang on a second. How do you rotate in this game? Wow, I just realized that I do not know how to rotate. Anyone know the rotate tool? 
Oh, delete and replace. Uh, yes, I do believe we need to do that. Hmm, 10 lane intersections. See, I feel like that any game like this is all just about traffic. Haha, ha, you have to drive on the grass and then you just phase out of existence. Of course it's not occupied. Yeah, how do we rotate? Nope, not Alt F4. <laughs> that, oh, that is quite a funny joke. Uh, um, hmm. Nope, not that either. Hmm. Mm, mouse, yeah, maybe mouse wheel hold. No, I'm not getting that. Ooh, right click. Oh, bless you. Hey, thank you, Opa. Much appreciated. You saved my life, Opa. Hey, thank you. Oh. All right, good. Making it more expensive for these goddamn out-of-towners to get in. Maybe give them, like, two toll booths or something like that? And how else do we get these uh, three-lane high... three-lane... Well, it's not perfect, but it, no, that's it's very good. It's very good. Why are you making me feel so insecure about the, the roads that I place? I already had so many uh, skeletons in my closet that I was harboring... I was harboring them um, in the harbor, of course, of the city. Uh, Two-lane, one-way road. See, this is not... What type of road is this? Oh, do, do full tell, tell boost like the spiff thing. That, that was very funny. I, I did enjoy that. Uh, just don't tax anyone. Just do only toll roads. Yeah, that was... I mean, like, it is a strategy. It is a strategy. Yeah, no toll booth for leaving. I want my people to be able to get out. Or we could just make them pay even more so that they have to stay in the city. No, I'm trying to alleviate traffic here. Um, mm, wait a second. This is downgrading. That wasn't an upgrade. Oh, I feel like such a dingus. Look, that clearly made the road worse. When I, I paid good money to upgrade that road. Hang on a second. Did I press something wrong? Oh, wait a second, it's... Okay, right-click changes the direction of... This is a very confusing road I am beginning to see. I don't know, I feel like I have a bad answer, though. Like, I don't feel like I have any major goals. I think I just wanted to make something big. Something big. Does that suffice? Does that suffice? Hmm. No need for highway after the toll booth. Is normal, use three normal way, one way road. What is a three way, one way road? Two lane road. I see two lane, I see two lane. Curved road, no. Oh, you know, we could have done that too, I guess. Free. F we could have done a free form road. That might have been better. Man, I, I feel like kind of a dingus now. I feel like I could have changed things. It's like more roads with the arrow on the roads menu. Oh! There's that many roads? Now, okay, I am learn. I am very learn. I have educate now. Thank you. Actually, I, I did not know about all these road tools. If I had known about these from the, the, the beginning, I thought you had to unlock them all. Okay, now I am, I am confusion. Oh, this is actually great because we can do so much more with this now. All right, so small industry road, two lane, gra I love the gravel roads in this. Um, yeah, I don't like these people. I would like, I think they all deserve to die. Um, so we'll probably focus on killing them in the last half hour of the stream. But right now we're trying to build them up so that there's something to ruin, you know? Ooh, look, house upgrade. Man, this place is starting to look like San Francisco. Very shishi, very nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and delete it all. Yeah, we're gonna destroy that. We're just going to make everything bigger. The bigger, the better in our city. Here we go. Um, make everyone unhappy. Isolate all of the cars on the road. And then let's just start from scratch. Uh, you know, play Genesis right here. Six. Uh, we'll make it a very beautiful road to... We won't have enough money for this, I'm sure, but... Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Misleading entrance into a horrible city. Really just an awful place to go or to find oneself trapped in. All right, unfortunately, the road out of town will be more narrow, but that's actually okay because uh, nobody really wants to get out because people like it here. I'm, 
actually quite surprised that they are enjoying themselves near that level. But look at all the trees that we just planted. Oh, they will love coming into the city and immediately experiencing traffic jam when we try to funnel it out from six lanes into one lane. Can you even imagine a merge that horrible? The honking. Oh, yes. Wow, there's something really nice about watching traffic like resolve itself in this. Especially about watching um, like almost a natural feeling of relief to watch uh, traffic resolve into its constituent components from place to place. Look, they're actually using the tributaries that I've built around town. And we almost have enough population to burn all of the garbage. Well, let's use our pro city planning now to go into... Um, I have a, an idea. I have an idea, folks. We're going to make a very bougie town now. The bougiest part of town, in fact. Yeah, let's go like this. And then we'll do... Um, I'm starting to really enjoy this game. Freeform road. Yeah, these curvy roads. Oh, yeah, everyone loves a nice curvy road. So what is this freeform road? Hey, Mo the Sloth. Thanks for coming out. Hey, Sixterio. Hey, thank you very much for the bits. Much appreciated, my friend. Hmm. So if we do freeform road, can we just do something like that? Ooh, look at this. Ah, I feel like I have a protractor out right now. Okay, let's make a strange looking city then. Circles, circle time. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, math and science. I feel like John Nash in a beautiful mind. Wow, I mean, it's really not a perfect circle at all because I still don't have any clue what I'm doing. No, not that much road. Why would you go that way? There we go. What an awful looking sort of... It's, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Like, look at that. That's art, people. Oh, God. And we could put, a like, something enjoyable like a bounce house in the middle. I do like the way that houses can kind of spring up on any size plot of land, though. There's no, like, real limit here that we seem to be dealing with. That's good. Because there could be a lot of limitations from the stuff we've been pulling. Hmm. I think we'll still go with the grid for the pipes. Grid seems to be the best for the pri uh, pipes. But uh, this is a game about getting out of the grid, you know? And that was why I had really been hankering to make a circle up until now. Yes, my uh, everyone's upset. Every, everyone's getting... <laughs> right, big town, which means we can now burn garbage. And what better place to burn garbage than in the middle to keep everyone warm? Uh, incineration plant, like, right there. Nah, I'll put it in the real spot. I don't want to deal with more of their whining. There we go. Incineration plant. It does make sense if it's across from the... the. Oh, wow. Look, actually, some of the traffic has resolved. Isn't that nice? How do we handle this type of intersection? This intersection... Look, it's a trapezoid, people. One half t uh, base one plus base two times the height. What's the, what's the uh, equation for the area? One half times the quantity base one plus base two times the height. That's your trapezoid right there. Isn't that your area? Roundabouts, really? Okay, I'll put in a roundabout if it makes you happy because you all have this. Why is it that whenever I try to create a, a, uh, a damn city, everybody, hang on a second, this looks nice. I'm getting, like, very passionate about this now. We'll begin with a... S this is a small roundabout. This is not small. All right, only to silence you, though. I'm going to do this. What are the I like that, how it puts the warning lines on the side. Like, you might cause something here, Rob. You might cause some real damage if you do this. Uh, what is it? S? Again, oh, right mouse button, right mouse button. See, that's so very intuitive. I like that. Damn it! Which one do I do it to? Oh, no. All right, uh... 
Okay, I guess like a little bit more road. Oh no, we're still on freeform mode. Freeform mode is just like the id of road building, you know? Hmm. All right, now I have opinions on city skylines. Oh, dang. I'm very upset. All right, make it as granular as possible. You and your, I'm just doing this roundabout as a as a test. I'm testing you. I'm testing you. Ooh, this is funky. Dang it. Okay, finally did something right with my life. Okay, now I, I am preparing for extreme satisfaction. It's slightly aloof. I mean, uh, a skew or whatever it is. Yeah, this is like romantic music. This is this is the kind of music I play when me and my baby are together. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, round and round. There's something satisfying about driving in a roundabout. You ever feel like you're just for mo a moment like a NASCAR driver? Like people like there's people cheering for you when you're driving in a roundabout. Maybe it's only because in the town I live in, uh, there's a lot of roundabouts, just f for seemingly no reason. Suddenly our traffic situation is equally bad still. But I think that one thing that we've done, and I'll say this, I mean, we've used actual city planning techniques to alleviate traffic. Uh, this is cul-de-sacs are... If, if you're young and you don't understand this, or you've never lived around cul-de-sacs, cul-de-sacs seem to minimize the activity. You know, you don't want cars passing by like this. I would rather live somewhere like this, where it's quiet, rather than somewhere like this. But this area looks more walkable too, so. Um, there is that advantage. Plane! Look, a plane. That's very nice. Well, we have some absolute trash city now, so this is nice. But we have alleviated some of the traffic. I do think that we'll probably destroy several more people's livelihoods before we go on it any longer. We really shouldn't have put this big lane in the middle here. Um, vacation was extended. We have basically no problems. Our city is perfect. <laughs> I, I do think that would be interesting, though, to put together a city based on real-life planning principles. Like doing all the roads out first. This is how DC was built. It was planned well in advance, unlike cities like New York City. Where it just kind of goes crazy. Am I secretly a real-life city planner? No. I'm just, I've am just lived a normal life, so I have comments to say on things. I, I, I don't think I'm giving out any really nuanced opinions here. I'm pretty much a dingus when it comes to understanding. Uh, well, I mean, look, at, I make videos about video games on the internet, guys. I don't, <laughs> I don't really don't listen to anything that I say. I don't read. Um, yeah. But there we are. Hmm. What is this sad... Alright, let's take a, a quick poll of chat. What is bothering you about this city? Or is everything just kind of like hunky-dory in the city and we could just continue on with our lives? I'm kind of interested in exploring the limits and the, and the many uh, redeeming facts of this cul-de-sac pattern. I, I would like to do a hillside bunch of cul-de-sacs. Something like spread out and salacious like LA you know hmm IRL cul-de-sacs cul make traffic worse by decreasing walkability and viability of public transport yes but you know some cities are like that and we're going to go with uh, uh, entrenched uh, bad uh, non scalable housing building techniques I just kind of want to make something that looks pleasing to the eye. I like cul-de-sacs because they're circles. Otherwise, everyone does a grid. Though we could mix it up. We've already got our grid section, so I've, I stand firm in that, that we've done that. Mm. Yeah, let's do, some, let's do some more circulature. I'm enjoying that. Like all dirt roads. That'd be good. All right, dirt roads it is. Uh, or at least... All right, let's have our circle section. Let's have a city that, like, anything is not... Or nothing is not circular. 
It's like a section of the city that's an enigma. Yeah, we'll go with that. An enigma section of the city. Not as efficient, but who really cares? Because the goal of the city isn't really more like an economist would postulate. Yeah, it's more of... Um, the goal is human human happiness and aesthetics. There I go making more lines, but don't you worry now. We're going to put in some some cul-de-sacs, or as I like to call them, cool the sacks, uh, just to uh, be hip like the kids. Here we go. So what if we just do pure curve, curvular? So we go like this. Is there a nice way to make it? Oh, so you can do a perfect right angle. So we're just going to do like maybe sort of a, like a cursed cul-de-sac or something like that. Oh, we can't actually do that because I totally messed this one up. This one isn't going to be a perfect circle, but hey, I mean, it's neat. I feel like, I feel like I'm in charge of stuff when I'm doing this. It's so nice that this game does give you the flexibility to do that though. You know what I mean? This circular circle was even more circular than the last one. The last one just looks like a mistake. I know it's not there, but we're getting somewhere. We're getting into this like oblong egg. Uh, but let's, uh, yeah, let's do low, low density housing there because it's kind of like a, that type of neighborhood, you know? Everybody owns a car and uh, has two and a half kids and um, they just got back from the war. Here we are. So we'll have that neighborhood. But then we'll also have another neighborhood over here. Ooh, I'm really enjoying imagining the lives of the people in this city now, aren't you? Gotta add alleys so that there's places for garbage trucks to drive and places to put gar- Yes, put garbage in the alleyways, like in Chicago. Chicago actually does have quite a lot of, uh, a kind of awesome and terrifying looking alleyways. Space already occupied. No, it's not, it's not. Of course it's not. Hmm. Now, why can't I see this? There should just be a quick, a quick cul-de-sac tool, in my opinion. One, two, ah, dang, you gotta count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, I think ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so there is a line there. I was just trying to get a, you know, a perfect circle, because why do anything other than that? See if we got it right. Uh, oh no, no, oh, it's all ruined. I tried to get a perfect circle, I failed. Oh, god damn these ads. You know, this is part of the reason I don't show my face when I'm streaming is I feel as though I'm just kind of a crotchety old man and everything that I... Damn it, these ads, these... Synthetic Dawn Radio. I even get to be angry at the radio. I don't feel like saddling up in the mornings. I'm just trying to... LML. Living my life. I have an idea for an interesting city design. Guys, listen to me. See these, this is the sacrifice they make. They don't have water here. Circle, circle main road with a circle cul-de-sac. Let's just do everything as a series of circles so that our town is like a representation of the multiverse. Like remember at the end of Men in Black when they, uh, God, look, we could even do this awful, just, Look at, well, actually, we really shouldn't do this. We should put a park or something in here. I will, I don't have that much of a lobotomy. Here we are, police headquarters. Let's put a police headquarters near here somewhere. They could get onto the roundabout whenever, you know, justice calls. Something like that. We'll continue expanding this out. This is a little more involved though, a little more interesting. I'm enjoying Hmm. Here, we'll just connect the gastrocnemius to the soleus over here. Here we go. Very nice, very nice. The humerus, the tibia, the fibula, and libia. The other, and the other parts of the human body. There we go. City is like a human body. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. It, it's, it definitely still can. 
Definitely. Right, but let's continue on our journey through life. Let's put like hi to this is something that no one asked for over here. There we go. Nice. Liking this. Liking this. Hey, in fact, let's make this all commercial. You know, no parks. Just dense it up. Dense it up, I say. Wow. Uh, very nice. Mm, city. I don't know why I just say city. You ever play cities? I think that's all that I think. I was wondering to myself, you know, as I played these city building games, what my commentary would kind of become like. Because uh, the game kind of shapes it for everybody, you know? It shapes the way that you think. But when I'm playing on my own, I think that my brain just sort of turns to mush. And I think, mm, city... City. City. And, like, when a disaster occurs, like, for example, uh... Um... No, can we not create our own disasters? Dang it. I was going to say an earthquake. Well, when an, if an earthquake should coincidentally happen, then, um, you know, we could flee. Flee there or something like that. Hmm. Uh, do capital sparks a revolution? Absolutely. What is today? The 29th? I was planning on doing it. I'm hoping for tomorrow. I'm going to do it uh, a couple days. I think it just released yesterday. I like the look of that one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, good. More lights, higher buildings. We get, like, skyscrapers in this game. This is my one thing that, uh, was really... A mm, hang on a second. Let's just see how the traffic develops. See, in my... I opine this that... This is doo-doo. That's my opinion on this. We need, like, a big six-lane transfer so that when people get to this side of the roundabout, it's just confusion. That's what we need. We need like a two ways in and a two ways out roundabout. This is going to lead to a lot of collisions. Oh, wow. I like it. I like the collisions. Okay, yeah, see, this is too much buildup here, though. We've got too much buildup. We've got to cause more collisions. We go, fine. No, we don't need the tram tracks there. Let's just do mostly straight, mostly straight. Yep, this is a very confusing... Oh my god, I would not want to turn into this thing. You can turn in from the left lane or the right lane? Oh my god, there's not even a traffic light here. How do we create traffic lights? Or do they just... How? Oh, who is eating all of these donuts? That's why everyone's going to the hospital in this town. Oh my god, that's a large fire. We're still making money, though, somehow. Is this the Firewatch Tower? I was like, from that real game, Firewatch, I thought it was. Oh god, there can be forest fires. Jesus. Well, we could just pour stuff on it. That's what we've always relied on, anyway. Right, uh, it does seem that this section of the city is either, one, going to need its own power plant, or it's going to need to link up to the rest. But I don't really want to cause any more concerns. A lot of people are asking questions. Let's get some offices in here. We don't have any of that. Might be a nice addition to our city. Otherwise, we'll just put in some dense buildings that make no sense to put here. Um, and I really didn't have any plan when I started this city, but it's growing still, somehow. Hey, Red5353, thank you very much for the eight months. I need another entrance into my city. That is uh, actually a very good idea. I hadn't thought of just... I don't know why I thought that all cities are just supposed to have one's entrance. You know, I was... There's like certain extremely naive calculations that go on in my head. Like, well, one city, one entrance. Of course, it makes sense. It makes sense. We have an underground metro- Ooh, I actually really like that. I would like to do a subway network. Let's wait to save up a little bit of money, though. We haven't really just observed it. Let's just enjoy the city for a moment. 
Guys, like I said, this game is about enjoyment. This game isn't about being stressed. Like a... Oh god, there comes the fire department in the sky. Hmm. Exclamation point upgrades, we could do that. Oh, this is ominous. We're being pushed toward the ocean, which has a lot of... Uh, human... Human... Uh, brown matter in it. Mm. Mm, that's a nice high school. See, that's the one thing I'm proud of in the city. What a nice way to look at our crap city. Look at our cul-de-sacs increasing entrenched uh, patterns of wealth and preventing upward mobility from the proletariat, which we have been preventing since the beginning. Look at this nice little house. It's an affordable option, you know, in a cul-de-sac, nice little neighborhood, but probably scaled out of price for everyone else. Um, or for all the normal people. You go, you could go for a nice week down at the cinema and, uh, forget about how horrible your life is being stuffed full of six donut trucks in a row. This isn't even a very scenic way to look at the buildings. All we're getting views of is, uh, now that's a nice picture. They select such nice paint schemes on the buildings. This is something to be proud of now. Now let's make it worse. We've had most of the city, uh, stream intending to make the... Alright. Like I said, now we have all of this money. We're glutted with people. Uh... I don't know why they send things like this. Why do someone lose their wallet? Why is this a citywide concern? You wouldn't advertise it in the paper. You just ask around in your neighbors. Otherwise, hopefully the guy got a new wallet. What is this? Good. High density office building. We're very dense here, so that shouldn't be a problem. We should be able to occupy that office building in no time. Hmm. Uh, more pipes. More pipes. Well, I did... Eh, let's start to make the city worse, because like I said, why would we make the city good? All right, I'm tired of this... I tire of this city. Disaster time. How do we create them? How do we create them? Is this it? Landscaping and disasters. Okay, here we begin. All right, so, um... I, I think we've had a great time here at uh, Dangerous Ditches, which was one of the worst cities on Earth. It has horrible income inequality. These people live in a cul-de-sac, and uh, so do these. Neither of them is really a circle or good in any way. So even the good life here isn't very good. And then these people were just sitting around with trash in their yards. Actually, this is a rather nice part of town. I take all that back. But either way, it's going to go downhill now at this point for this city because, well, uh, the whole reason I play these games is to just cause trouble in people's lives. And, you know, I haven't done this in a long time, so I would like to just slowly begin the disasters. Like, we'll begin with things that are more realistic and feasible that they could potentially happen. Like, maybe there was just a boulder over there. Um disaster. How are we going to get rid of it? But then, uh, there were actually some quite bad things. Let's start with something that could, like, realistically happen. Like, I think Meteor is on the least lesser likely side. So I think we'll go from left to right, because that's usually, generally speaking, in order of likelihood. I like that. I like that. Like a big... <laughs> oh, wow. It's cool down. Where's that tornado at? A little nervous. Column of air wreaks destruction on the map. Oh, they travel from one edge to another. So the tornado should just be coming in from somewhere. Anybody? I don't see the tornado yet. That's a little upsetting. That's a little upsetting. I like how the lo-fi music is playing for this. Severing the outbound roads. Can we trap them? I think they'll still find some way out of the city. Or we could just set the outbound road on fire. What about an earthquake? Could we have one of those? No, for some reason we're getting that. What about just a sinkhole? This one can't miss. We've got to see that. Where's the sinkhole? 
either all of my disasters are just going to come at once, catastrophically, or, okay, well, we could at least get a fire, forest fire. Look at all the trees here. Okay, there we go. Good. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Oh, I stand Residents corrected. should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Nope, uh, all of them are beginning to happen at once. No, uh, the disasters are not torn off, and that's a larger tornado than I had anticipated. Oh my god. Whoops. Oh, there go the... Yes, this is how we're going to get rid of these donut trucks. These god... Goddamn donut trucks. Stephanie Alexander. Man, look at that. Oh, wow. Where's Godzilla at? He's missing out on the action. Oh no. Oh, is there a magnitude meter? There's a magnitude meter. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. I mean, this looks like a pretty good tornado and forest fire to have at the same time. An earthquake is occurring. Oh, dang it. Wait for help if you are in the affected area. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Look, we still got 8,100 people. Oh no, the park is on fire. Where is the bounce house? Oh, please tell me that the bounce house is okay. Yes, it is! It's fine. Everyone's at it. It's like an end of the world party. <laughs> Just get as much momentary pleasure as you can for a few seconds while the tornado wrecks havoc on our highways. Oh, they can't get out anymore now. They can't get it. They can't get out anymore. Oh, you could do the intensity meter when you're placing it. All right. Well, I think we need a good cool dip in the ocean now. Let's. Uh, it's about time. It's about time. Unfortunately, all the lights have gone off. So where is the day night thing? Can we do cinematic cam too? Okay. Yeah. Clearly, why are people still trying to get into the city? <laughs> Take part in this. God was not pleased by the hedonistic donut devouring the residents of in the area. <laughs> Leave campsites and tree houses immediately. Oh God. I gotta s wait a second, why is everything fine again? This didn't do enough damage to most of the city. This didn't do enough damage. Come on, I w yeah, look, this is inequality of uh disasters. Only this guy's house went on fire, not this guy's. That's a real pain, you know? It's I feel like my neighbor should, you know, in order to experience the solidarity with my neighbor, we should, uh, how about just everything collapses in one part of town, especially the part with the tall buildings, and then, uh, you know, chill it all out with a dip, and then we'll have a tsunami, and then we'll have just a meteor strike, because these people haven't experienced enough adversity up here. We'll have uh, several of these, I think, because it, it'll be like, uh, it's got to be like the end of V for Vendetta, but it's more like M for Meteor. <laughs> uh, uh, um, all right, let's speed up time so that we get to those good uh, tsunamis. Now, I don't need, need is a strong word for an outside connection. How are they getting out of the city? Or are they dying from the fires? The is over. It's Something is brewing. All right, I, I want no music at this part. Oh, uh, what was that? Oh, that was the building. That's it? That's all it did? What else did... What other disasters... This is like, uh... Like ordering, ordering off of DoorDash. I didn't order a tsunami. Yes. In the near future. A, a near future. I think the first one we positioned up here. We're going to get this, uh... Oh, don't block it, Birdman. The burb is going to block the... Me Wait a second, I can see it. I can see it. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's amazing! A meteor strike has occurred. There's four of them in a row, I'm sorry I did them all together. Jesus, that's also causing a fire! A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Well, we didn't even get the tsunami. Head to shelter if any is available. 
Come on, people. Order of uh, operations. It goes tsunami, then meteor. Well, I think that the... Uh, did the bounce house survive? I think it was actually in the direct impact, so those people were horribly... Oh, no, here it was. Nope, that was the Pearl residence. Well, we may never know where the bounce house actually was. They'll find rubber from it scattered in the debris of the ashes of the storm. Well, I think we do need to... Let's try ordering, like, six tsunamis. Disaster reports. We didn't even get this. Citizens lost 1,950. Wow. Gotta give it up, though, for them. Like, um... This is probably, like, the most fleshed-out city builder. I missed the tsunami. Man. I think the water just, like, came up, maybe. I, w I was impressed by the meteors, though. I had a lovely time here. We still have $29,000 with which to start the next city. Let's keep passing around the problem. Where is this tsunami? Tsunami shnunami. More like dumb. Oh, we even lost the doo doo. But look, there's still some of it flowing down the stream and all of the pollutants that were uh, came out of this town. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, reviewing this nice clean wash. Yeah, you know, like a, a real uh, like a real catharsis for the town after all of that. Like a cleansing ablution after all of those troublesome meteors. How many did we have? One, two, three, and four. What? Uh, no, that was a forest fire. Stand corrected. It does look like there was erosion on the shoreline, though. And he's picking up more of it to put out the fires. Well, they did do a pretty good job with the fires. I don't know. In review, uh, how long did this city last? This city lasted about... Three years. Three years. Uh, but, you know, uh, I had a good time. I just kind of wanted to explore the game again. I, I thought this would be a lot of fun to do for a stream, so I wanted to come back and do some city builders with you guys. I think I will now just uh, cue the, the onslaught of meteors on the screen uh, as a as a nice quick outro, and then we'll, we'll decide who to raid next. But, oh my god, you, how many can you have on screen at once? There's probably something with uh, no cooldown. We should probably just get rid of all of this, you know. Just for I feel disgusted by this place anyway. Ten size meteors. How do you get ten size? Oh, I'm sorry. Size ten meteors. Yeah. Okay. So we'll finish it all off with a size ten meteor. Jesus. And we could get a size ten tsunami. Maybe we could actually appreciate the magnitude of the tsunami after that. Nope. I will not be given help. No. Uh, we ended with the size 10, just for, like, a good finale. Oh, this was such a... Hang on a second. No, there's more meteors coming. Like I said, I don't know. I, maybe it won't be a hundred year. A hundred year, I've decided. Seems like a pretty long time. But I'd like to do some of this game. It's a very fun one. Is this the size 10 one? It's large. Nope, that's not the size 10. That's just the... Nah, that's just a small meteor. You'll survive that impact, I'm sure. These are all rather large, actually. Oh my god. Wait a second, that, that was the one, right? Is this it? Yep, that was the size... Oh wait, is that it? Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. I'm trying to decide which one was the largest. I think it was these two. I must have done two size 10 meteors. That's still not bad. Still not bad. I just don't think we have enough water for a tsunami. Well, it was good while it lasted. It was good while it lasted. Had a good time. Had a good time. Well, uh, that was fun. That was fun. I'd been wanting to ex uh, explore this game again. Hey, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, thanks for, uh, hang on a second. I got a lot of you folks to thank. Um, and then I think we'll kind of put this away for a, for a little while. Um, I'm going to, we're going to send a raid over somebody else too. It looks like there's a lot of good folks on. I'm trying to see who's doing something kind of similar uh, so that I can send them a raid. There's a lot of good good people on Twitch right now. Hey, thank you guys. Uh, big, big, big thanks, especially to, um, holy cow, 
Yeah, Caleb Kerr, thank you. That was very, very generous. And Drown in Our Sin. Hey, thank you guys very much. As well as Edward Scissorhands and uh, or Edmund E. Scissorhands. E. Scissorhands. Hey, thank you very much, guys. No, if you if you think of anything that you'd want to see, I don't know. It's just it's, uh, very generous, and I'd like to. Uh, I don't know if you if you have any suggestions or anything, I'd like to consider it. If there's anything I think I could realistically make a video on, or uh, actually, video is usually kind of thing, but it, I don't know, like a stream or something like that. Uh, but that would be nice. Kako, thanks for coming out, Kako. Uh, bless you, Kako. Who is streaming something similar right now? Uh, I'm seeing. I'm seeing some good stuff on right now. Hmm. All right, actually, I mentioned him during the stream, and I like this guy. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over the, friend, the way of my friend, I'm Kibitz, uh, who's doing Satisfactory right now. And he's actually, uh, he actually does a very good job at these types of games. So I think you'll learn a lot more from him than you did from me. But it was, uh, it was fun hanging out. Um, I have no idea what he's doing in Satisfactory. He's doing... Uh, the world harvest continues. So I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it uh, might be inhuman. And I, I, I rather like that. So we're going to go send a raid over Kibitz's way. Mm, he doesn't have any weird spelling or anything like that. Mm. All right. Everybody have a good day or night or uh, or afternoon or or uh, some other time. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. It better be good. All right. Goodbye now.